Colorado beetle, Leptinotarsa decemliniata, originates from the North American state of Colorado and is the world's major potato pest. The beetles overwinter in the soil until early spring. They are up to 15 millimeters long, bright yellow, with five black longitudinal lines on each forewing and with black markings on the thorax. Both beetles and larvae feed on the leaves of potato plants, causing severe damage. Mating usually occurs during maturation feeding. Fertilized females lay batches of up to 80 eggs in rows on various parts of the underside of a leaf. A sticky secretion released during oviposition adheres the eggs to the leaf. Larvae hatch from the soft, transparent eggshells a few days later. The bodies of the larvae harden within a few hours and their heads darken. As soon as their mouth parts have hardened, the hatched larvae start feeding, consuming their own eggshells. At this stage, the larvae stay together in social groups. They also stay together in smaller groups when they start to feed on leaves. Larval development comprises four stages in total. Here we see a first stage larva shedding its cuticle to become a second stage larva. Larvae that have just shed their cuticle can be recognized by their striking reddish-orange color. Once the old cuticle has been shed, it takes a few hours for the new cuticle to harden. Then feeding is resumed again. Second and third stage larvae feed usually also in groups. Feeding is most voracious after the fourth and final larval stage has been reached. The L4 larvae usually feed alone, causing severe damage. Fully grown L4 larvae abandon the plant and burrow several centimeters deep into the soil for pubation. A few days later, the reddish-orange young pupa peels off the L4 cuticle. Finally, after several further days, the young beetle emerges from the thin pupal sheath. It leaves the soil after its cuticle is sufficiently hard again. The adult beetles continue to feed on potato plants for another two to three weeks as they mature. They then enter the soil deep enough to secure an undisturbed overwintering period.